Five, those are our crew. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And I got a guest star here with me. I got Shadow, my little kitty. Ah, huh. He my little boy. Yeah, he likes to cause problems, like jumping all over the place. Huh. Ooh, you're just kind of glaring at me. We're just going to hold you and keep control of you while we read. I'm going to try to anyway. I'm like cradling him and oh he likes to be held he won't admit it but he likes to be held uh, anyway so I talk about all kinds of things on this channel uh, and some of it you know happens to be science or technology related and just are things that I just happen to come across and I came across a weird article that scientists are searching for a mirror universe uh, just kind of like Star Trek it could be sitting right in front of you if the mirror universe exists, upcoming experience involving subatomic particles could reveal it. Where you, where are you going? Yeah. Now, now, you're going to be a problem. No, you're going to stay right here with me. So anyway, at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in eastern Tennessee, physicist Leia Broussard is trying to open a portal to a parallel universe. This sounds like sliders. <laughs> Doesn't this sound, doesn't this remind you of Sliders, the show Sliders? She calls it in an oscillation that would lead her to a, to mirror matter. But the idea is fundamentally the same. In a series of experiments, she plans to run at Oak Ridge this summer. Brassard will, will send a beam of subatomic particles down a 50 foot tunnel past a powerful magnet into an impenetrable wall. If the setup is just right, and if the universe cooperates, uh, some of those particles will transform into the mirror image versions of themselves, allowing them to tunnel right through the wall. Does any of this make sense? <laughs> this reminds me of that techno babble speak on Star Trek. Well, if this does happen, and this happens, and this happens, then the uh, gamma particles uh, from the beta rays will fly through the wall and whatever. Uh, anyway, Brasad will have uncovered the first evidence of a mirror world right alongside our own. It's pretty wacky. The mirror world, assuming it exists, would have its own laws of mirror physics and its own mirror history. <laughs> Reminds me of the first uh, parallel dimension that uh, uh, Quinn... Quinn Mallory in Sliders went to where um, Elvis was still alive and uh, red light was go and green light was stop. <laughs> anyway, um, you, would, you wouldn't find a mirror version of yourself there and no evil Spock with a goatee. Sorry, Star Trek fans, but current theory allows that you might find mirror atoms in mirror rocks, maybe even mirror planets and stars collectively they could form an entire shadow <laughs> yeah a world a shadow world there'd be a whole lot of shadows like you that'd be so cute wouldn't it yeah just as real as our own but almost completely cut off from us yeah we can't have you cut off from us huh yeah do you want down now are you gonna settle down Don't look at me like you're going to bite me. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Now be good. Uh, let's see here. Brasoud, uh This is Leia Brasoud. Looks like a nice lady, actually. Uh, she says her initial search for the mirror world won't be especially difficult. This is a pretty straightforward experiment that we cobbled together with parts we found lying around. <laughs> we found it lying around in our basement. Uh, we're making a time machine next. Using equipment and resources we already had available at Oak Ridge. Uh, but 
If she detects even a single mirror particle, it would prove what is out there and that the known laws of physics are only half of a much broader set of rules. This is an interesting, um, interesting article as far as all that goes, like the third dimension, a fourth dimension, a fifth dimension, parallel dimensions and, and all that. This is um, kind of interesting. Um, but this is a rather long article. So I won't get into all of this. I will uh, put a link in the description. Uh, so you may have to expand it a little bit so that way you can see that. So you can go here and, and read this for yourself. There is a second article um, that I will also link. And that is from the comicbook.com. This will be a lot uh, shorter, I think. But they are also talking about how um, scientists are trying to find uh, a mirror universe, um, parallel dimension, and, and all that. So what they say is, I got cat fur in my mouth now. In the decades since its debut, the world of Star Trek has helped bring a slew of science fiction concepts, yada, 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 but they also bring up Leia Broussard, who is attempting to open a portal to a par parallel universe. Um, but they, they kind of quote like the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse's uh, particle accelerator, which I haven't seen it. I've, I've seen uh, a, a, a few bits here and there. My daughter was watching it one day and it looked interesting. So, I don't know. It's on Netflix. Um, I might actually go and, and check that out. Maybe I'll, use, maybe I'll watch it on my, I need to be charging my phone. Maybe I'll watch it on my phone and use my, um, my Samsung uh, VR gear, my Gear VR, watching on a huge screen. It'll look like a huge screen. Uh, <laughs> I did that with Battlestar Galactica, the classic one, okay? The classic one, not the newer one. I did that with like the first part, um, watched it on a big virtual TV. Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. Anyway, it's pretty wacky. Uh, What are you doing? Is he behind me? No. I just heard this thump. Maybe it's the mirror universe. Um, anyway, uh, she's saying dark people is probably a bit far-fetched, but dark matter is very likely as rich as our own matter, and this kind of thing needs to be explored. And it kind of goes into the same stuff that we read in the other article. But, um, again, this is kind of like more of a short and sweet version um, that you can check out. But if you want more of a very, very detailed explanation of what's going on, um, this is Leo Broussard right here at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. This almost looks like a playhouse or something with, <laughs> with all the different colors and stuff. But uh, there's a lot more detail here in this other article. So... Um, you will get the benefit of both if you find the story interesting. Uh, both links to those articles will be in the description field. And other than that, uh, subscribe if you're new here. And uh, you'll be notified when I get a new video up. And there's, there's lots of videos on this channel. This series has a, lots of different things. And uh, this channel itself has a variety of different things. So check it out. I would love it if you would subscribe. Be a part of the Killer Nation. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the other side. <laughs> on the other side of the mirror. <laughs>